All right, so I hope you're ready to start making a pinch pot. Pinch pots are really fun. They are one of the easiest ways to make a vessel out of clay. And anybody can do this. I do this with my kindergartners. I've even done it with preschoolers. So anybody can make a pinch pot. They're a lot of fun, and I'm gonna show you how. Start with a lump of clay. This one is maybe about the size of my fist. You can really have any size though. You can make tiny pinch pots or big ones. But first thing is you have to make it into a ball shape. So there's a lot of ways to do that. <clears throat> when it's big and <clears throat> lumpy like this, I usually try to kind of mold it with my hands first, kind of twist it and turn it, slap it around a little bit, kind of like you're making a snowball. Usually when you're making a snowball, you do a lot of this sort of a hand formation. Once you get it into a good size ball, you can start kind of rolling it. You can roll it in your hands like this. What I like to do is roll it on the table because you can put a lot of pressure on it. So I'm pushing down hard on it and that is pushing all the clay to the center as I spin it around under my hands. Now it's not a perfect ball right now. It's still kind of lumpy. It's got weird twists and turns to it, but I'm trying to get all the clay into the middle right now. So it's looking pretty good. It's starting to get really smooth. Now I'm going to take it and gently squish it down to be more of a ball shape. Okay, now I'm gonna gently roll it. I'm not pressing down hard. Gently roll it to get rid of bumps and lumps and cracks. It's pretty important to get it as smooth as you can before you start. I mean, you can make a pinch pot if it's not really a perfect ball or if it's got lumps and cracks, but those lumps and cracks are still gonna be there once you make the pinch pot. So it really pays to take the time now to roll it into the best ball that you can. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, to make it into a vessel or a pot, we need to make a hole in it. I like to use my thumb. Take your thumb, press it down hard into the ball. I'm pressing down almost all the way to the bottom. I'm kind of feeling it with my palm here. I can feel the clay moving, but I haven't pressed all the way through. There's a big hole here, but it does not go through the bottom. Okay, that's pretty important. Now, to make this into a big vessel. Right now, it's just a ball with a hole in it. That's not what we're looking for. To make this into a vessel, we have to pinch it. That's why it's called a pinch pot. So, put your thumb inside and your fingers outside. You're gonna pinch the clay just a little bit. I'm not squeezing the dickens out of it. I'm not squeezing it so hard that I'm making it fall apart. I'm pinching it gently, just a tiny bit. Then I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna pinch it again turn it, pinch it again, turn it, pinch it again. You see the pattern we're doing here? Turn it, pinch it again. And you can see inside here what's happening is this is getting bigger and the walls are getting thinner. So keep pinching and turning, pinching and turning very gently. This is a gradual process. You don't want to have an entire bowl with one round. You're gonna have to go around and around and around and around. So we're gonna keep pinching and turning don't neglect the bottom part of the pot. A lot of people just pinch up around the edge here and they don't reach down and pinch on the bottom and you get a really thick bottom on your pot. So, got to pinch on the bottom too. Pinch and turn, pinch and turn. On this part, I'm going to spend a little more time right here because I can feel it's very thick here. I'm going to try to even it out a little bit. Keep pinching and turning round and round. If you do start to get some cracks developing, which you will, it's okay. Just rub them with your thumb, get them fixed. Keep going around and around until your pot is as big as you'd like for it to be. Now, if you're using the kind of clay that I'm using, which is clay that has to go in a kiln to get baked to harden, you cannot leave parts really, really super thick because super thick clay usually has pockets of air in it and that pocket of air when it gets in the super hot kiln will fill with steam and explode you do not want that so make sure you get it all to be pretty much the same thickness if you're using kiln hardening clay like i am if you're using something like polymer or play-doh or model magic or air dry clay you don't need to worry about 
thickness. Just make it as big as you want. Now, to make it look better than it is now, it's pretty lumpy and bumpy, I'm going to first work on the lip. Use your thumb to get all of those bumps and lumps off. Here's another little trick. This is very bumpy, like here, it goes like a little roller coaster. Turn it over, tap it on the table. Don't slam it down on the table, or else it's gonna be a pancake and not a bowl. Tap it on the table. That gets it to be nice and even. And then you can pinch it again to get your walls even again, okay? Same thing on the bottom. This is very bumpy, it's not gonna stand up right. So to get it to stand up right, I'm gonna tap it on the table like this. You might even twist it a little bit so that you get a nice little base there. Now all these bumps and lumps, you can leave them if you want. You can smooth them if you want. Totally up to you. I like to smooth out the cracks, but I kind of like these bumps and lumps. To me, it really shows that it's a handmade piece, not something that came out of a machine or a factory. I like to even out the inside a little bit. And then the fun part, if you want, you can add designs to it. So you can use clay tools. There's a lot of fun wooden tools. These are dirty, dirty, but you can use any sort of clay tools to add some textures and designs to it. This one's pretty fun. You could make some little divots going around the edge here. You could use this one to make some lines. Maybe I want straight lines going down in between my divots. Whatever you like. And here's another little trick. If you have a sponge handy, get it damp, and you can use a sponge to really smooth out the clay. You can get it nice and smooth here. I could even use it to help smooth out those designs I just made. If you do it too much, it will erase your designs, which you do not want, but I can use it to help smooth out my designs and make them a little bit better. So the fun part is adding textures and designs. You could even carve your name into it. You could write on it whatever's gonna go in that bowl, like jewelry or whatever you would like. So that's making a pinch pot. Pretty simple process. You can make a bunch of them. You can make them all different sizes. Totally up to you what your creation is going to look like.